guys, today is the first tutorial to my series uh, making a social networking site with PHP. Uh, today I'm just going to talk about, uh, we're not actually going to be doing any coding today since it's the first uh, tutorial, but I'm just going to go uh, kind of overview what we're going to be getting into and some of the things you can do even before you start uh, making your, your uh, website. Uh, so first off, uh, here's a question that everybody encounters. I did when I uh, first started doing PHP things, and it's a very frustrating, frustrating question to ask uh, if you don't have the answer. So I want to make a content management system. That's what a CMS is for PHP. Uh, this tutorial is guided towards people that have already uh, set up a domain and hosting account. Uh, if, if you haven't done that, uh, I recommend going to fatcal.com and please refer me uh, tigertutorials.com. Um, there are some free services like 000freeweb.com. I think that's it. You can Google search it. Uh, anyway, so you have your domain and uh, hosting service set up. Uh, you have your first step down. That was a big step for me because I didn't know how websites worked. Uh, so that's that. So the next thing is discovering exactly what you're gonna, what the requirements are for what you want to make your website, uh, the features that you want on your website. So maybe I could take Facebook as, as an example. Uh, Facebook has users, they have comments, uh, link structure, yeah, they have that. So you can specify your own username. They have file uploading, polls, email, they have basically everything here except for, so they might have web bots. Uh, anyway, so users log in, so this is like uh, login into your site, so like google.com, you can log into your Gmail account. Um, if you're unfamiliar with these terms, you are going to be learning them in the series. So just uh, stick with it. But here's an SQL database, which is basically what your uh, information is being stored in. It's like the username and password and other uh, information about that person. Uh, it's going to be using PHP, and everything about your site is going to be using uh, HTML and CSS to display the actual information since uh, HTML is the only way you can uh, display information on your website, CSS can enhance the display of HTML. And you can, you can display other files like GIFs, PNGs, uh, PDFs, but they're not con technically considered a website. Anyway, so next are our comments here, same database, uh, PHP, and then we get into this JavaScript thing. Uh, it's kind of going towards the field of uh, Ajax, which is down here in chats, but this adds some more enhancements to your uh, comments. It's a little bit more advanced of a feature. Uh, I highly recommend just making your PHP and then enhancing with JavaScript so you have those security measures already set in stone with that PHP. Because uh, JavaScript can be disabled, and if it's disabled, you know, like if statement's disabled, then somebody can put something right in there just by dis disabling that JavaScript. Uh, link structure, that's primarily done just by PHP. So like parsing a link, uh, instead of making it uh, ID equals a big a long string of numbers, um, you just do ID equals and then the username. So I could do ID equals uh, Tiger Tutorials, that'd be a link structure thing. It'd be parsing it back into something that's readable uh, by the computer, but readable by the human. And I have not done this, and I probably should. It's good for SEO, which is going to be uh, what I'm talking about down here. Uh, file uploading. Uh, you can f upload it on an SQL database, but I but I highly recommend doing a file server. Um, PHP, SQL uh, for metadata, so like the name of the file, etc. JavaScript enhancing Ajax. Uh, polls and surveys. I just recently did a tutorial on this, so you can search it. Uh, SQL database and PHP. Uh, pretty much the same thing as comments, just a derivative. Uh, email, you're going to be using PHP and email functions, possibly a SQL database to track exactly who sent the email, what time, uh, things like that. And you, can, you can also send that along with the email. Uh, same thing, forms, PHP, email function, uh, actually SQL also, because uh, you're going to be submitting information. So forms, comments, users, polls are all very, very similar, very redundant. Uh, you can even copy the code probably. Uh, web bots and spiders this is a little bit more advanced. You're going to be using curl bots, or you can use like fgets functions. But curl bots, I think, are like a hundred times faster. I'm not sure what the statistics are, but they use PHP for that. Uh, possibly email to send you back the information, or SQL to upload the information. But this is a little bit more of an advanced feature that I'm going to be making some more tutorials on that can't be covered right here. 
uh, and actually some of these things down the like HTML is not required for uh, web bots and spiders so you can just uh, no, I'm not gonna bother with that uh, 30 party third party embeds so possibly like a Google Google map uh, you're gonna be using uh, PHP to render exactly where that item's gonna be so maybe you're gonna put a human there uh, longitude latitude you're gonna be entering that with PHP uh, JavaScript is actually what's the uh, the actual uh, third party in embed with the maps so you're gonna have to use that oh and you can also make an image uh, Google allows that and then you're usually gonna need an API key for all the uh, API's that you implement in your site and uh, Google also has that uh, and you wanna make a chat room I haven't done this yet uh, it's very similar to comments but chats usually go along the lines of having instant updates so on Facebook uh, there's a little uh, feature on the very right hand corner, bottom right hand corner, you can just click on somebody and chat with them. Uh, this usually requires timestamps to see if they're online. Uh, PHP as with, as with everything else. Uh, lots of JavaScript to make it interactive. It's kind of an optional uh, detail there, but you want to make sure that um, the users see up, updated results. And then Ajax, so this is going to be a, asynchronous uh, updates. And this is the heart of uh, all chat rooms, basically, it's just Ajax, which is a combination between PHP, JavaScript, uh, SQL, HTML, CSS. It's basically, it's not a language itself, it's just a culmination of many. Anyway, so that's basically uh, covers most of the features anybody wants to do on a website. There are some additional ones. Uh, so our next topic here, search engine optimization. This is something that is kind of a preliminary uh, thing to do before you start your website and during your website. Uh, so yeah, start your SEO plan today. Uh, one of the key things uh, with search engine optimization, SEO, is having like a keyword rich website. Uh, usually embedding these keywords in uh, your, your content is the uh, optimal situation because you don't want your uh, User, users to be discouraged by a big long list of uh, just random keywords so make sure you embed them uh, make sure you have incoming links to your website so possibly you could uh, ask other webmasters to post your link to your website and also make sure that the uh, like right here I could just put fat cow and just link it up to fat cow behind that so make sure uh, whatever whatever uh, your name is to linking your site is uh, relevant to what your site is so if I put a uh, click here and here is the link, it's not a very good uh, situation there because here is on millions of websites. Uh, make sure you have a new title on every page and the description meta metadata or no, not metadata, meta tags. Uh, it's kind of hard to edit this in this mode uh, for every page on the website. Uh, this is a tactic uh, I've kind of implemented, but it's not the biggest one. Uh, lots of unique content. This is probably one of the bigger ones for attracting users and for getting a unique Google uh, bot updates. Uh, that's a big one. Uh, if your website's down, that's uh, pretty bad. If it's down for like more than, I'm not sure what their policy is, maybe 10 days, I think they stick you on a list where they don't link your site up or something. It's just not a, a good thing to have happen. Uh, and then obviously don't do anything against uh, Google's policies. And I'm just saying Google because they are kind of the the leader of uh, all uh, search engine websites. So that's kind of a, a good uh, key mark to go by. Uh, use Google Analytics and Google Webmaster so you can rate like how many people are incoming to your site, how many people are viewing your site, uh, many other features. Uh, also use Google Webmaster to see exactly what links are linking into your site and they uh, have some newsletters that are kind of helpful for uh, search engine optimization. Uh, next we have uh, capturing the user, so this is a kind of a goes along the line with the search engine optimization, uh, gaining traffic to your website. Uh, kind of like advertising, you can promote your website to people around you that are interested. Uh, they can sign up, uh, kind of get the uh, ball rolling. Uh, you can you need this is a definite you need to have uh, engaging information in your website as it is content is king uh, so make sure you have a pr uh, pretty good information uh, have a clean layout that's easily uh, readable uh, that's a big one because if I go to a site and I just see hundreds of images and a bunch of little small pieces of text 
uh, I'm only going to be on that side for five seconds. I'm going to click that back button, and your site is done. So make sure everything's readable, and uh, make sure it's organized, and then employ the, strate the strategies of SEO, which uh, are listed up here. Uh, and then you can also create a second website, such as like a YouTube or a blog, uh, and then promote your website from that website. So you kind of have two websites, uh, and that can uh, kind of direct your users, kind of funnel them in. So like for my uh, instance here is, uh, I have a tutorials website where you can look at tutorials on YouTube as you are now, and then you can go to my website, tigertutorials.com, and you can look at the uh, textual version of it. So it kind of funnels people in is a, a good thing to have and blogs can also do that and many other sites uh, you can send newsletters and uh, that engage your users um, this is good for just keeping people aware that your site exists uh, make their experience easy and mainstream so you don't want to do anything that's a hassle to them uh, lastly you can always purchase uh, advertisements from Adbrite uh, Adbrite's a nice uh, advertising company just because my experience is with a uh, Google AdSense which is down here but I'll get to that later where you can purchase stuff with AdWords or other ad networks uh, lastly you can make money um, I first started trying to make money uh, when I first started my website and it was not very successful as I said Google AdSense had suspended my account because I had some fraudulent click activity so I highly suggest that you do not put Google AdSense on your site when you first start up, maybe a year after, once you get some incoming uh, traffic and they uh, look at your site as relevant. So uh, make sure you don't just throw that Google AdSense in there, or else you're going to be uh, disabled for the rest of your life. It's kind of my situation. And yeah, so don't click on your own ads. Uh, so that's pretty much the uh, whole setup for uh, the social networking site that we're going to be setting up and for uh, many other sites. Uh, please go to tigertutorials.com and subscribe. Thank you.